A traffic calming measure on Tennyson Road has been mocked on an episode of The Grand Tour, which is hosted by former Top Gear presenter Jeremy Clarkson. But does the so-called ghost roundabout, which was installed last year, deserve to be ridiculed? Our reporter Jeremy Wilson went to find out. The ghost roundabout isn't a roundabout at all. It's actually a road feature that is supposed to confuse drivers into slowing down. I rather like this so-called ghost roundabout. It's come in for a lot of uh, ribbing, uh, but I prefer to call it a magic roundabout because of the magic it seems to impart upon Tennyson Road by reducing the speed of passing traffic. I think it's doing its job and it's rather attractive to look at. Despite the criticism, the roundabout is popular among local residents. There's certainly been a lot of juvenile con comments about it and it's, that's really unfortunate because it was designed to do a job and it is, appears to be working, yeah. The residents actually, as part of a democratic process, were consulted very well on this and had the opportunity to vote for various features on the road. And this actually was the number one of all the features that were offered. This was the one that receive the most votes, understandably, because this is one of the most dangerous points of the road, in terms of pedestrians trying to cross, in terms of the speed of traffic and so on. The roundabout was installed as part of a number of measures that have changed the character of Tennyson Road. I think the whole point is that our changes of road texture up and down the road, which add a little bit of uncertainty as to who might have priority. Is it a motorist going in one direction or the other, or is it pedestrians? And that's had the effect of making drivers slow down, think about where they are, think about what's coming, what might be happening. As well as the roundabout, one of the biggest changes to the road has been the installation of a raised crossing. Vehicles do slow down for that and it helps to reinforce the highway code rule, rule 170 I, I think, which says that pedestrians crossing on a major road have right of way over traffic turning into or out of that road and makes it a lot safer and it's level which makes it uh, much more accessible for people with disabilities. While the roundabout appears to be popular with residents, it's not perfect. We've always seen this as just the start. We've campaigned for something to be done on this road for 28 years. And the, these measures have made vast improvement, but it's only a start and other things need to be done. For example, heavy lorries are actually using this roundabout as a three-point turn facility, crossing the pavement here. I live just over here, and I'm in fear that my wall is going to be bashed down shortly. It's taken 28 years for the residents of Tennyson Road to get their magic roundabout, and next on their agenda is a zebra crossing. Jeremy Wilson for That's Cambridge.